So it's time to visit Fish Guy Mike again, and I'll show you what we're going to do. This is real wild collected live rock. Light. This video, guys, I'm going to call the live rock experiment, and it'll be an ongoing video. We take live rock for granted, some of us, and that's the main aspect of keeping our reef tanks. So I got to thinking, wouldn't it be cool if I got some live rock from different parts of the world and I put them in a 10 gallon tank, put some light on it and just see what grows over time. Fish Guy Mike has things in his garage there in his tanks that have just grown up from nothing. He's been there about 15 or 20 years, so it's kind of cool. He was pointing out some things that he said, this just came out of the rock. So as far as what I wanted to do, it can be an ongoing experiment. I'm going to put the live rock in there from different parts of the world. I'm going to light it. That could be a cool idea, you know, something we can follow. I'll test water. I won't add any fish to it. I won't add any coral, just live rock and light and an air bubbler and a circulating pump. Also put a small cleanup crew in there because there's going to be some algae growth. All right, so what you see here, guys, I just brought the live rock back. This is just temporary. I have to go get a 10 gallon tank. I'll probably try different things and then I can record what's happening. So in the bucket here, I have Tonga rock. This is Marshall Island rock from the Marshall Islands. This rock is from the Indonesian region. Remember guys, there's not just four or five types of live rock. Depending on where you got it from, they give it different names. So this is Indonesian rock. And 
and this rock is from Fiji. So that's four different places that I have rock from. Forgot to tell you guys, sunny side eggs, some zoas. I thought, what could I put in here that would grow along the rock down low, not interfere with my hammer? And this is it, sunny sides. I also want to do an unboxing. I did spring and get the AI Prime 16 HD when I heard that making noise, which, oh, by the way, I fixed it. I took it apart, blew air on it, not WD-40, guys. I was just joking. It was a bad attempt at a joke. I bl air blew it with one of those computer blasters, and it's not making a sound. So now I ordered. But I also noticed one of the lights is burnt out on it. So this is for my brother, used. Maybe I'll put that over the 10-gallon. I know I probably forgot something. All right, guys, well, all right, guys, that should do it for this one, right? Yeah, I agree. All right, so have a great rest of the day, and I'll see you on Wednesday. Keep those questions coming. Thank you for subscribing, and we'll see you next time. Take care now.